Welcome to Highline Excel class number 43. If you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my College Upside link and you can download the workbook Week 8 Business 214. If you're in the class, just go to our Week 8 website. Hey, we've got to talk about the match, M-A-T-C-H function. I always have lots of notes up here, match. Um, so, 250. We want to look through this list and find the approximate match. So it bumps into the first biggest one and jumps back here and tells us, the match tells us, hey, that's the third item in the list. Match exact will take this two and look it up. It'll go one, dude, and it finds the exact match. And it says, oh, I'm the third one in the list. Now, why in the world would you want to do that? Because in our next video, we're going to use the index function. And the index function does two-way lookup and lots of other things. And you always need to find, look up an item and find its relative position in a list. So uh, the basics are we need this 2 to return 1, 2, 3 to the index for column. And using this 250, we need to return 1, 2, 3 for the row reference. And the intersection will tell the uh, index function, boom. But let's look, just look at the match. It's the relative position in a list or the ordinal position equals match. The lookup value is going to be this, comma. The lookup array is going to be this, comma, and the match type. Now, for lookup, there are th three different ones. If I could scroll up just a little bit. Exact match and one are exactly like the lookup. This is an exact match. This is an approximate match. When it bumps into the first biggest value, it jumps back to the next row. That, that one, just like we saw with VLOOKUP, uh, we'll do this minus one. That find, finds the first smaller number and then but jumps back. But we'll do that one a uh, couple tricks down into index. But let's just try a pro, um, one. Now, just like VLOOKUP, if you leave this one off, it'll do approximate match. And again, so let's leave it off and see if the match can do its thing. Three. The algorithm is the same as VLOOKUP. It runs down, bumps into a bigger value, and jumps back. Now, actually, remember, as we talked about before, it says greater than, is this greater than or equal to, is this greater than or equal, is this greater than or equal? No. So I'm going to go back here. Now let's do exact match. We're going to click on this one. Where are we going to look it up? Look up array. This whole one right here. Comma. And now we have to do uh, zero because we want an exact match. And it says 3. Now if we change this to 4, that gives us 5, 0 to 4. And if we change this to 660, it returns 7. And now I'm going to do bigger. Just as we did in our VLOOKUP, we examined all the options. And sure enough, it finds uh, 8 right there, bigger. Match, very important. Let's look at a great use just with match all by itself, not even without, without index. Can we ask the question, is this item in this list? And then is this item in this list? And then is this item in this list? Lots of people like to do this because then they like to filter or extract the data. I if it's over here, we want to do something with it. So watch this, equals match. Lookup value is going to be this right here. Comma, the lookup array is going to be this. Comma, and the match type, well, we're looking up words, so I'm going to say zero for exact. Now think about this. What does match do? It returns the ordinal position. Control Enter. Double click and send it down. Aha. Uh -huh. So what does NA mean? NA means not available. So we have, whoa, well that's not right. I forgot to lock the cell references. F4, F4 to lock it in front of the row reference. Control Enter. Double click and send it down. So it gives us either numbers or not available. So how do we from this pattern, get a formula that tells us true for it's in the list or false if it's not. F2, hey, it's numbers that are telling us that it's in the list over there. So in front of this, we'll put is number. We talked about this, I think, in week two, is the is functions. We talked about it with uh, is and or if. Is Number is text, is non-text, is an A. Those are all functions that return true or false. So since we're asking, is it a number? Every time it's a number, which means it's in that list, it returns true.
control enter. Uh, what about not in list? I'm just going to copy this match right here, control C. How about is there an is NA? Because remember, NA was telling us that it wasn't in the list. Is NA, control V, close parentheses. <clears throat> And that'll tell if, if it's not in the list. Double click. That one's not, that one's not, that one's not. Now, why is this important? These formulas are the basis of lots of other formulas. And we could do a list, Control Shift L, and filter. We want the ones that are true. That means they are in the other list. Click OK. We can simply highlight this. And with filter, you can copy. And then I'm going to come down here and paste. I'm going to say is in list 1. Unfilter, clear. And then you could do the same thing, obviously, over here. We want a true. And this means these ones are not there. So then we highlight these two, Control c Control v not in list 1, and then clear the filter. So now we have extracted with our formula and a little bit of copy and paste and filter. Hey, these items are not in list 1. These ones are. All right, and when we come back, we'll start our epic uh, video on index. We have like 10 or 12 or 13 tricks for index. All right, see you then.